Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending January 7th, 2024. The Go Nagai Museum burned down this week amid a magnitude 7.6 earthquake. A convention won an award. Uh, there are more Yamato films coming. And TV Tokyo won a lawsuit about fake Naruto merchandise. We'll get to some Ooh. of that a bit later. Um, but first, let's go into the headlines. I will start here. <clears throat> um and yeah we i think this is kind of the the big one very sad yes um the there's a big earthquake obviously hit japan um uh uh last week and uh sadly uh, uh the icy street location of the gonagai uh museum uh did burn basically to the ground um yeah. very very bad um they said uh basically the, the uh the studio had said we're not even Getting anywhere near it, like we're, we're yeah. whatever. We're, we're just staying away. Uh, we're not even going to go in to confirm what's there, what's not, until you know much later. Um, Gona guy was in Tokyo. Like he's you know, he's nowhere yes. near the museum. Right. Yeah. Um, but uh, he said he's deeply uh, sad to hear that several dozen deaths um, in that prefecture. Yes. Um, so uh, who knows uh, what's going to go on there? It featured a lot of uh, original uh, Gona guy art. For Mazinger Z, Cutie Honey, Devil Man, Get a Robo, as well as a one ninth scale statue of Mazinger Z. Oh. So, yeah. So, very, very sad. Well, this is one of those things that in this day and age, you, know, you think about World War II and the things that disappeared, all the art that disappeared. Yeah. I am hopeful that this day and age of digital photography right. that the entire collection had been photographed and yeah. cataloged so that even at the originals are gone mm -hmm. they're not truly gone you yeah, know that yeah. we still have them for reference as digital images somewhere mm -hmm. i hope i hope yeah, yeah i mean you know one of the benefit not benefits but you know mm -hmm. one of the, the things about this this type of thing is is that even though you know we're losing stuff that is kind of irreplaceable there yeah. is a record of this and the ability mm -hmm. to go back and remake these kinds of things. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like when what happened when the studio burned down, the guy who does Wallace and Gromit, when that studio yeah. burned down. Yeah. I mean, that was, Art, that Artman, was, that, you know? that was, yeah, that, that wasn't just like pieces of history that went down. That mm -hmm. was like stuff that he needed to have yeah. Yeah. Know, to make, to, to make the thing. So at least, you know, at least this is just, not just, but yeah. it's just a museum it, of, yeah, of it's an archive. archive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. So and, and yeah. to your point, John, I think we have enough out there that mm -hmm. it's not yeah. lost like like the, the great earthquake. Uh you know, yeah. Right, great you know, yeah. 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 Where where so much stuff is lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um y'all cool if I continue taking on the, the headlines for now? Sure. Yeah. Cool. Um, so this was an interesting one. Uh, Anime NYC was presented with, by an award by the Japanese ambassador, Miki Omori. Uh, the Consul General Award for Promoting Japanese Culture in the U.S. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You um, know? So Peter Tatara and M.K. Goodwin, who both sort of run in various uh, ways, Anime NYC, um, got a certificate December 13th. From uh, Miki Omori, uh, who stated that, quote, through the work of Peter Tarara and M.K. Goodwin has created an increased collaborative effort in enlightening the chance between the United States and Japan, thereby deepening the bond between the American and Japanese people. Cool. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. Um, Conventions are good for something. Exactly. Conventions are good. <laughs> um, so I don't normally cover awards, but that's the... Oddest anime award I think I've ever come across. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I've never heard of it before like that. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, now we mentioned earlier um, for this Arete, yeah, uh, which is sort of a, a feminist anime film about a kidnapped princess who rescues herself. Mm -hmm. um, Studio Four C's been putting a bunch of its stuff up on YouTube. They just released that movie for free on YouTube. Wow. So you can just go watch the thing with English subs. All there for wow. free. Wow. Ready to go. Well, you know, it's funny yeah. is that when when I I when you sent this to us and I actually clicked on the the link, you know, thinking there, yeah. there was an article, it's just the movie just start playing. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. What's what's four C getting? Just trying to raise attention to their catalog. No idea. Huh. No idea. Uh, Kadamoto with chat is saying limited time. 
which makes sense. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So probably won't be there forever. But cool. Maybe a, a preview to a launch website. Yeah, launch? Maybe. Who knows? I mean, they released um, um, Noiseman Sound in- Insect, and they've been mm. releasing uh, chunks of Genius Party as well. So, oh my god, lots of old, yeah, me. lots of cool old Go classic on. anime. <clears throat> okay, so Kevin was saying uh, once a year they 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 do that. Oh, okay, okay, cool, nice, good for them. Um, speaking of new anime coming, um, we have confirmation on the new Spice and Wolf anime uh, <laughs> uh, coming in April. This is the one starring, um, or that will be including, spoiler alert, um, I believe Holo and Lawrence's daughter, oh. uh, if I recall correctly, from the, the storyline. So, oh. And this is actually um, um, a special holiday visual that they released in sort of celebration of that. Mm. Don't know who the character is. I'm yeah. um, kidding, kidding. But uh, yeah, so April for the new Spice and Wolf. Which is fun. Um, not sure who the uh, illustrator is. I think this is just you know somebody they commissioned to do an illustration. So it's not like right. an, it's an official right. illustration, but it's not like the original white like, novel artist yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. Um, also, some uh, um, in anime news. Um, uh, more Bang Dream is coming, or Bong Dream. I don't know how to pronounce Bang, that. Yeah, Bong Dream. Uh, so they're getting uh, two films this year. Annan uh, says, uh, Bong Dream, It's My Go Anime is spawning two films this year. <laughs> I guess they don't love Bong Dream. <laughs> um, they oh. will be um, compilation films, but with some new footage. Uh, and they're saying the second film will screen with a film live sequence. Oh. Okay. So uh, animators sitting at light boards furiously drawing. <laughs> live animation. <laughs> Um, the first film is titled A Sunny Spot in Spring, A Stray Cat. Oh. And the second is Sing the Song That Can Define Us and Film Live. Aww. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> things, things that will probably pass my purview. Yes, probably. I, I will wait for others to brave the, the stormy waters of the Bond game. <laughs> Empire, let me know how that goes. Exactly. I, I, I just had a thought of like, what if they did Baby Metal, the the anime? That, I, think, I think I'd probably watch that. Yeah, sure. Why I'd not? watch it just for the music alone. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Exactly. <laughs> well, on the full version of this, we'll talk about TV Tokyo winning its lawsuit over fake Naruto merch and about the Yamato 3199 films. But for now, Let's move into the data. The data. Oh, uh, there we go. 